guys, Horror Man back for another review. So today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the brand new NECA Toys Ash vs. Evil Dead Ash Williams figure. Now this is the hero version and this is definitely the one that's the you know people are looking for. Loaded with accessories uh, like the chainsaw and boomstick and interchangeable hand. You even get this really cool grimace face in here. Got a cool picture of uh, Bruce Campbell as Ash Williams on the front. And it's in this really cool, like, kind of like red forest uh, background. And then you can see the name of the show on the side. And on the back, you see some really cool pictures of Ash highlighting the different accessories. And then there's also a little bio of the TV show. And then if you look here, you can see a couple figures that are also available. You have the Value Mart Ash and the demon that they uh, resurrect in one of the shows. Okay. And then on the bottom, just see uh, some of the credits for the people that uh, sculpted it, you know, things like that. So really cool looking figure. Um, it was a little tough finding them at first, but they should be showing up now in stores. Uh, I know I found this one at Toys R Us. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take this out of the box and get a closer look. All right, so here he is out of the box. Uh, before we get too far, though, let's go ahead and take a close-up of the head sculpt. All right, so I think they've done a really good job with this Bruce Campbell head sculpt. You can definitely see the age factor uh, in this figure, and I really like that. And they've done a uh, likeness of Bruce Campbell so much that I guess, you know, they just become pros at it by this point. So uh, you can see the hair is really well done. It's kind of like slicked back and kind of parted off to one side. Um, and you got the chin really good. You know, you don't want to mess that up. But yeah, I definitely see the uh, likeness of Bruce Campbell in there really well. I think the eyes are really cool on here. But, yeah, they've done a really good job. You can see little highlights of, like, the gray hair in there. So, I'm definitely happy with this. So, you actually do get two different head sculpts. So, I'll go ahead and put that new head sculpt on now. Um, it's pretty easy. You just go ahead and grab this as hard as you can. And then just pops off. And then the head sculpt just has a little hole in here. And you're just going to attach it to that peg. And then just wiggling on as hard as you can. And then you get the second head sculpt. Now this second head sculpt is completely different. You see he's got a little bit of like a scar on his right cheek. And he's got that angry grimace going. So if you're looking for the ash that's ready to fight, this is definitely the one you're going to want to display him with. And again, the hair is well done. You can see again the gray, especially in the sideburns. Um, but you can even see those like pearly whites are done really well. All the teeth are actually painted. So yeah, I think this is actually the better head sculpt of the two. And just to give you a side-by-side -side comparison. So you got more like the serious uh, head sculpt and then you have the angry uh, Ash ready to fight. And just looking over the rest of the body, the details are really good in here. You can definitely see wrinkles all throughout the clothing. You can see these different belts that he has hooked up to him for his, uh, you know, case on the back for the boomstick. And even that case is really nice, done with like kind of like a softer material in here. But yeah, I like the outfit he's wearing too. It's basically like what you would expect him to wear. I don't think he's really changed uh, his hero clothes in about 30 years. And then just looking at the pants, again, they're, you know, got some wrinkles in here, got the little belt here, the buckles clearly done, all the pockets and everything, so really nice. And then he's just got some like basic shoes on. Now the articulation is actually really good on this figure. Uh, just going over this now, he can uh, turn his head pretty good. Again, you can go all the way around if you want. Uh, he's got a little bit of down movement here. And then he can look straight up, like straight forward, but he can't really look up at all. So I'm not sure what it is with that, but he really can't look up. But yeah, he can look down just fine. And if you want, you can kind of tilt his head a little bit to give him a different, uh, you know, different facial uh, expression. 
And then the arms can go about that far out. They can go all the way down. And then this is my favorite part. He actually has a double hinge here, or, um, like the joint. I'm not sure if it's really a double hinge. It just looks like the, the way they've designed it. It almost looks like you can pull this peg out. So you can get really good uh, elbow articulation here. And then you can actually twist right here. And also the wrist can twist. You can't really do too much of like a cradle in the wrist uh, because of the sleeve kind of hinders it. And also the same here. I mean, I mean, it's really cool that they did that. You got the chainsaw, so you definitely want the best articulation you can get. And then with the chainsaw, uh, it's got pretty good articulation as well. It kind of just twists, um, but it really can't like angle. It's just a twist on there. And then the actual, um, there's a little bit of um, like an ab crunch here, not much, uh, but he can twist and then you can kind of angle just a little bit. The legs, he could do a pretty good split, which I doubt Bruce Campbell can do in real life. <laughs> the legs don't go that far forward, so that's about it. And then there's also knee articulation and then the uh, ankles can twist. A little bit of up and down movement. So overall, it's pretty good articulation on the Hero Ash. All right, so you do get some cool accessories. The first one is just going to be uh, his standard like boomstick, and it's done pretty well. It's got really not that much weathering. It almost looks newer than his older gun. Um, and you can just see the trigger here and the butt of the handle. Um, it's got like a, a bit of a shorter barrel than I would have thought but uh, it's still really well done. And there's also like a little stump that he comes with, and this actually has a peg on it, and then you can attach something on this other side, so if you want like a little spacer in between. And then the final accessory is the hand that Pablo makes for him, and this is really cool. Um, you actually do have a little bit of articulation pretty much at the wrist, um, and the actual hand obviously doesn't really move much as it shouldn't, um, but the details in here are really good. You can see a little bit of red paint in here and gun metal, like a darker uh, wash. So it's pretty cool that they actually included this. And then you can see the way this connects is actually into the sleeve. And of course he has his trusted chainsaw, which I really like this. I like the red that they've given here. And again, like that gun metal gray for the actual chainsaw blade. And then you can see there's a little, um, details in here so really cool all right and if you want to put this uh different hand on you do have to pop this sleeve off and then you would just plug the uh peg here into this section of the sleeve all right and once you've done that it seems to fit in there just fine and again you do have a little bit of that uh, wrist articulation on here and then of course you do get the same quality articulation when you change that part out so you can get that like little double hinged elbow there he also has like the course the trigger finger showing here and if you want to put that boom stick in here I recommend just kind of sliding the barrel up through the hand the fingers will bend and easily move and then you can get that trigger finger right into the trigger which is very cool so great um, positioning on the hand there. So if you want to have him holding the gun, uh, you can do that if you'd like. And if you prefer to just store the gun on his back, he does have that awesome little sheath that you could just kind of put the gun in, and then you could just put it in just like so. It stores really nice on here. Again, this is a softer material, and it holds nice and firm. It won't just fall out of there. All right, so when you get the figure, you don't have this little spacer on Ash in the box. Um, but if you do want to add it, this is what it looks like. And I honestly think it looks a little cooler with it. Um, you still have that same articulation on here. You can still twist this here. Uh, but you can also move uh, this little stump or look spacer piece as well. And this just pops right off. It's just a little peg that goes into here. Now, I wouldn't use it with the hand that he comes with. I would just use it with the chainsaw, but it does look pretty cool. 
All right, so for the first comparison, here he is next to a couple different uh, Evil Dead figures. You have the NECA Farewell to Arms uh, Ash, and you can definitely see the age difference between these two. And then you also have the Movie Maniacs made by McFarlane Toys, and this is Evil Ash. If you look at the size of the feet on these two figures, it's pretty significantly different. So I definitely wish the feet were bigger on this Bruce Campbell figure. All right, and here's Ash next to the Sarah Connor from Terminator, and this is also a NECA figure. She looks just either a hair shorter or just a little bit taller. So I would say that these Ash vs. Evil Dead figures are just slightly smaller than what they should be. And for the next comparison, here he is next to a couple other chainsaw-wielding characters. And you can see Leatherface from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the Chainsaw Ganado from Resident Evil 4. And if you compare the chainsaws, I'm thinking that Ganado's got it beat. Now, unfortunately, I don't really have any zombies in this scale to compare them to, but I feel like this is the closest thing. You have the Part 6 Jason. It'll look cool if you want to display him with his mask off. He has that zombie face. And here he is next to a fellow zombie slayer, and this is Daryl Dixon from The Walking Dead. Now, he kind of towers over Bruce Campbell a little bit. I don't think the height's quite right, uh, but they still look pretty cool next to each other. And if you want, you could display this little zombie accessory in with uh, either one. And here he is next to the Morbius figure from Hasbro, and this is part of the Marvel Legends. Now, Morbius is supposed to be in more of a six inch scale. All right, so that's my review. All in all, I think this is a great figure. Definitely a great representation of Ash from you know the TV show Ash vs. Evil Dead, and I think it's the best in the series. Um, there is one other version that's covered in blood, and it also comes with two little demon spawn figures. That should be shipping soon, if not in stores this week, and that retails for around $40. Um, I like this one a lot, just because of the accessories. I think you get more for your buck. I like that each one of the ashes comes with different heads, and you can interchange all these accessories between this other um, Value Mart ash. And I think the Value Mart ash might have the best head sculpt with the open mouth, um, but I think this one's really good too. I mean, all around, this figure just really has the best accessories. So if you're looking for an Ash vs. Evil Dead Bruce Campbell figure, this is definitely the one to get. Now, if I had any gripes, which I got a few, uh, they're not major, but I do have a few gripes. First of all, I really wish this came with the Book of the Dead. Um, I've got three different Ash figures. I have the Farewell to Arms, the Hero Ash from, uh, it's like the black and white San Diego one, and I have this one. And out of the three, none of them come with the, you know, the Book of the Dead. So it's kind of silly, and I feel like with this hand here, the only thing it probably could have held is the Book of the Dead. So I wish they would have included that. I also think the feet on this figure are just a little small and it kind of makes it hard to stand them up at times. Um, since doing this review, I've kind of like found a better way to pose him so he seems to be standing just fine. But yeah, I do feel like the feet are just a little small. And, and the only other thing that I honestly have a complaint about is I do wish the scale was just a little bit better. For me, they just seem to be a little bit small or just a little bit out of scale with the other NECA figures. Now, that doesn't mean that they don't look good next to each other, but you know, when I put them next to Sarah Connor, he should definitely be taller than her, boots or not. Um, so yeah, I just feel like they're just a tiny bit on the short side, but all in all, they are great figures. Again, if you're looking for an Ash vs. Evil Dead figure, definitely go with this hero, Ash. Um, I'll have a little slideshow at the end of this review, so check that out. And um, thanks for watching my review. Please subscribe, leave a comment, question. Until next time, guys. Hail to the king, baby.